All right. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Welcome to yoga this morning, Wednesday morning, eight o'clock. Let's. Uh, my name is Max, and um, glad to have you here. So thanks to Jen for setting up the the uh, machine here, the iPad, and, and we'll get started. Let's begin with in a seated position, and um, for just just a little bit of meditation. All right. I mean, it's so difficult. I know it's it's challenging, but I think it's so good for us. So just just a comfortable upright position, and um, maybe hands at your knees or in your lap, and, and just close your eyes, and and just for for a short time here, we'll focus on your breath. All right. Notice the in breath and the out breath. And they may be short and shallow. It doesn't matter. Just, just focus on your breath. As you inhale, you're aware of your body. And as you exhale, you calm your body. We just spend a minute here focusing on our breath, allowing our mind to, to just focus on our body a bit, instead of all those thoughts and ideas that are popping around in your head, and, and they're going to happen, and they're there, and that's totally good. Just allow them to be there, and allow them to, to pass, all right? Notice them, and allow them to pass, and just come back to your breath. But as you, as you attempt to, to focus on your breath, and you, and you get pulled away into stories here and there, that's fine. Just... As soon as you notice it, you just come back to the breath. On your inhale, you're aware of your body. And on your exhale, you relax your body. hands to heart center. Let's set a dedication to our practice today of peace and healing to ourselves, our family, friends, our community, and this entire nation and world. Namaste. I'm up to standing position here. Mountain pose, just an equal standing pose, equal um, supporting your legs and, and just relaxed. All right? And uh, we'll warm up a little bit in standing. So, so maybe rolling your shoulders back up and then back as if you're setting your hands into your back pockets. And then back forward. Now, up with your shoulders, down and rolling them back and then forward. One more time, up and rolling them back and down. Good, now reverse. So going back first, rolling forward and down. Oh, good. Now back and rolling up and down. Feeling better? All right. Back once more, up and down. Roll your head out just a little bit. Push it from side to side. Just take it easy. Go slow. All right. Rolling your head around a little bit. Loosening up. Now loosen up. Maybe your right arm. Swing it back just very slowly. Around a couple of times. Loosening up your, your shoulder joint. Then reverse direction. All right. Good. Yep. Another direction. Now your other arm. Back first maybe. Ooh, that's a little different. And it can be from side to side. Back up and down again. All right, maybe a third time. Ah, up and back and down. Good. Ooh, feel that. Good. Shake out your hands a little bit. Good. In fact, press your hands together. All right. Pushing hard together and then relax. And then on the back sides, pressing your back sides together in your arms, in your hands, that is. Relax. Good, maybe pulling one back, and then you can 
can see this. Yeah, that's it. We relax. On the other back. Close, hands open and close, stretch open, and then back the other tight. Stretch open, back the other tight. All right. Shake out. How about a little wash machine, huh? Swinging arms side to side. Just kind of allow them to swing as you twist your torso. Good. All right. Now let's come into um, Sun Salutation A. Swinging arms up high to extended mountain pose. Arms reach, reaching towards the ceiling. Shoulders down. Right? And come into a cactus arm back bend. Shoulders back. Hip towards the front. That's it. All right. Now back together again to a steeple grip. Interlace your fingers. Steeple grip. And then flex to the right. Hips to the left, keeping your feet together, uh, using your right arm to pull your left arm across your ear, and then back up center. Good. Now flex to the left. So we've got hips to the right, ear on arm, and then back again. Good. Now a forward fold. No, wait a minute. Hold it. No, now we open hands and twist. That's it. Twist to the right. Good. And then back up to center. And then twist to the left. So left arm back, right arm forward. And back up. Extend the mountain once more. Now a cactus, now a uh, forward fold. Flat back, forward fold. Bend your hips right away, or knees. Bend your knees right away. Good, forward fold. And maybe up onto ball mounts of your feet. I love that, feels great. And coming back up to standing once more. Mountain pose. Good. Let's go through that a second time. Try to add the breath this time. So, extended inhale to an extended mountain pose. Exhale to a cactus arm back bend. Inhale, extended mountain to a steeple grip. Exhale, flex to the right. Inhale, back up center. Now exhale, flex to the left. Inhale, back up center. Now twist to the right. Exhale. Try to keep your hips square to the front. And back, inhale up the center. And then exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back up the center. Good. And now forward fold, exhale. Flat back, bending knees right away. Down to the crouch and curl, palm onto your feet, or just simply the forward fold, and then back up to standing pose. Good, mountain pose. All right, let's go through it another time. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, cactus arm back bend. Inhale, extended mountain to a steeple grip. Exhale, flex to the right. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, flex to the left. Inhale, back up to center. Now exhale, twist to the right. Palms towards the ceiling. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, cactus arm. I mean, uh, forward fold, swan dive, swan dive, forward fold, all the way down. Good. And then back up to standing pose. Let's go through it another time. One last time. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, cactus arm back bend. Inhale, extended mountain to a steeple grip. Exhale, flex to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, flex to the left. Inhale to center. Now exhale, twist to the right. Inhale back up to center. Exhale, flex to the left. Inhale.
inhale back up to center. Now exhale forward fold. And inhale back up to center, guys. Great. Let's talk about the breath for a moment. So I'm trying to, our ujjayi breath, where we're breathing in through our nose and out through our nose, with mouth closed, okay, and you're making that kind of a uh, Darth Vader sound, or, or the sound or the, the breath you need to add, to, you know, if you want to add uh, moisture to your, to your glasses to clean them in the wintertime or whatever. That's the, the sound we're trying to get because it's a restriction in the back of your throat, so you close your mouth and do that. And then exhale. All right, helps you guide you from, from uh, pose to pose or uh, asana to asana. So let's move on to sun salutation B. So for B, we come into chair pose, arms up alongside your ears. Look for your toes peeking out in front of your knees. All right, like you're sitting in a chair, you're about to sit into a chair. So your uh, belly tucked, all right? Now, great, now hands to heart. So wait a minute, uh, airplane arms. Flexing your arms back. Here you're really using your triceps, these muscles on the back of your arms to extend your arms up high, palms towards the floor in your airplane arms, keeping, maintaining uh, your breath on your own here. Now, hands up alongside your ears once more, back to chair arms, and then hands to heart center and forward fold. Come on, that Great, forward fold. Now, hands to the, to the uh, mat. Step your left foot back, way to the back of the mat. You drop your heel down to a 45 degree, in alignment with the mat, that is. And then look for a heel to arch alignment between your front foot and your back foot. You come up to warrior two, all right? Knee above your, your uh, ankle, arms outstretched. Now you see, I don't know if you can see this all that well, but I'm really not upright. My torso needs to be upright. So we're looking for a straight upright torso. All right, arm back, great. That's our warrior two. Now, extended side angle, shifting your arm down, dropping your hand to the floor, your right hand, or right knee to right elbow. Awesome. You're building strength and stability. Great place to be. All right, Lift, extending your left arm up high towards the ceiling. Now, coming up to reverse warrior. Left arm back, your, down your back leg, right arm up high towards the ceiling. Keeping that low stance though the whole time, all right? Ah, good, now circle, circle sweep both hands to the mat. Step left foot to me right. Come up to a half lift. Reset our back. Awesome, hands to the mat. Now step your right foot back. Look for that heel to arch alignment. Once more, come up to warrior two now on this side. Good, now I can't see myself in the mirror, but I already know I need to pull back a little bit to get upright. Good, shift. Extended side angle, uh, reaching your right arm up high. Now reverse warrior, right arm down your back leg, left arm up high, really engaging your core muscles in here and your leg muscle and your quads back here. Good, now circle sweep both hands to the mat, bringing right foot to meet left, half lift once more, uh, feels great. Forward fold, and then come back up into chair where we started, and back up to standing pose. Good, mountain pose, excellent. All right, shake that out a little bit. And let's go through now with the breath. All right, sun salutation B. Inhale to chair. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, chair arms. Exhale, hands to heart center, forward fold. Hands to the mat and step left foot back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat. Left foot to meet right. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, hands to the mat, step right foot back. Inhale, warrior two. 
Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, circle sweep hands. Step right to meet left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, standing pose. Good. Sun salutation, sun salutation B. Another time through, please. Inhale, extend, or uh, chair. Inhale, chair. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, chair arms return. Exhale, hands to heart, forward fold. Step left foot back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, circle sweep hands, step left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step right foot back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, circle sweep hands. Right foot to meet left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair. And exhale, standing once more. Another time through, or last time through. Sun salutation B. Inhale, chair. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, chair arms. Exhale, hands to heart. Hands to the mat, step left back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat, left to meet right. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, step right foot back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, circle sweep hands. Right to meet left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, standing pose. Feeling great, we're getting warmed up now. Let's come into a, some core workout. Ooh, I was chopping some wood over the weekend. Not much, just a little bit. And I can really feel it in my uh, abdominals. I don't know, it's because I'm reaching up high with this axe and swinging it down. I don't know what it was, but it was killing me. So first thing I did was tried to go through a little bit of yoga to kind of get warmed up and loosened up again. But all right, so now from our sun citation B, let's move on to core. So we're seated on the mat. All right, feet flat on the mat, knees together, hands behind your knees, and we'll come up into a, uh, a boat pose. So looking for a, uh, a uh, position of balance here between your sits bone and your tailbone. Lean back, chest up towards the ceiling, and so that you can lift your legs, and maybe keep your hands behind your knees, and have your legs straight against the floor, uh, parallel to the floor, that is. All right, for our, our boat pose here, option, to uh, straighten legs, maybe still keep your hands behind or keep them flat. There's a lot of options, all right? But we'll hold here for five, four, three, two, one, and down. All right, now let's do some supine bicycle. So with that, we want elbows behind, kind of in line with each other, okay? And fingers interlaced behind your head. We'll do this twisting motion all right, knee to elbow as we're laying on, the, on our mat. So have a lay down back on your back. 
flat on your mat. Now interlace your fingers and bring elbow to knee, knee to elbow, back and forth, and left and right. And this is where you can really feel it in these abdominal muscles, transverse abdominal, as you really give it the twist. And this is where I'm feeling the pain from that wood chopping. And it wasn't huge, but you know, if you haven't done it in a while, it uh, really affects you back, left, and right. For three more, and two more, and one more, and down. All right, take a full body stretch. Arms straight out in front of, uh, on the floor above your head, feet straight out, and then just relax and let everything settle for two breaths. All right, now we'll come back up and look for that boat pose once more. Last time, all right? Pull up your boat, knees together, legs into position, arms into position, it's over your choice. We'll hold for five, four, three, heart towards the ceiling, two, one, and down. Last time, supine, supine bicycle. All right, elbow, knee, knees to elbow, maybe straight legs, if you're really feeling it this morning. All right, for three, two, one, and done. Ooh, I can feel that. All right, good. Breathe any discomfort you have. You feel some, some pain or discomfort, that is. I mean, breathe into it as if you're sending your breath towards that part of your body. Just now I felt a little cramp back here. And uh, just kind of relax and breathe into it. And Helps me a tremendous amount. All right, I need just a quick little sip. All right, so let's um, come back into standing once more. All right, and we'll get into a crescent series. So forward fold, hands to the mat, step your left foot back, and now this time keep your knee, I mean your, your heel, keep your heel up straight, your back heel, keep it up straight. We'll come up to crescent. Crescent lunge, all right? Uh, extending your back knee towards the back of the room, so to speak. And then um, for options though here, set your left knee down for stability, all right? Now come into a cactus arm back then. Ah, oh, cactus, that's it. And then hands and arms forward, runner's lunge. So winging your right knee out. You can just stay right here. Your uh, foot is laid out, your back foot, left foot is laid out. All right, we'll come down in here to stack your fists, lay your forehead on your stacked fists. Or you can just stay upright here as well. All right, but I like this position right here. And just take a couple of breaths here. We'll come back up. Now keep your left knee down, send your right foot back. We'll have our uh, supported side plank. So left hand on the mat, below your face, right arm up high, keeping your left knee down. Here's your side plank, your supported side plank. Feels really good right now. Option to, to lift that back leg, or back foot, or you can send your other foot back. But there's our side plank for three, two, one, and done. All right, back into down dog. Okay, let's see. Let's step forward. Hmm. Uh, what we need to do is have our left, our right foot back now. That's it. So right foot back. Now at this point we can come up to crescent on this side. Right? Good. And again, right knee down for stability and building strength. Our cactus arm here. Good. And then come forward. <sighs> to runner's lunge, okay? Stacking this or a block. We'll just take a couple of breaths here. As you want, wing out that left knee, feeling the stretch, your psoas and then your hip flexors. All right, now back upright. Let's see, right knee down. We want our side plank then on this side. Right hand down on the mat, right below your face. Left hand up high, 
There's our supported side plank now to the left side. And again, option to lift your, your uh, back foot and leg or send your other foot back for full side plank. Good. For three, two, one, and done. Excellent. All right. We're in down dog. From down dog, step forward once more. And let's come up into chair pose. All right, here's our chair pose. And from here, we'll come into a prayer twist. So hands to heart, and then twist your left elbow to your right knee. I have to look at them to even remember what they're called when I'm trying to do this. All right, here we go, there's our prayer twist. All right, pressing your right hand into your left hand allows your torso to be shifted up and twisted up until you get this alignment your uh, breastbone or chest bone here, uh, sternum with your with your hands, all right? Keeping your knees together for three, two, and one, and done. All right, forward fold. Good, now let's come up into chair once more. And from here, we'll do the prayer twist now to the other side, all right? Elbow to knee, it is right elbow, left knee, pressing, pressing to get that alignment to your sternum, and then look towards the ceiling if possible. Otherwise, stay where you're at. Look at the floor. That's good for three, two, one, and down. All right. Uh, come back up to standing. Okay, we want a little bit of balance in here. We've done a little bit of balance in some of these other things, but I, I love tree pose so much. I can't get along without the tree, so. Okay, um, kickstand your right foot. Let's start with the right foot. Kickstand your right foot up against your left left uh, leg, and uh, or pick your position because that can be your tree, and that's a perfectly good tree. Or you can have your your foot below your knee, uh, right on your your lower leg, or you can actually bring it up above. We just don't want it at your knee because then you're pressing that side load on your knee, and you don't want to do that. All right. So, but for this morning, I'm just going to kickstand, and then heart, hands to heart. And then we can grow branches at will in our tree pose. And it's best if you can come back to your ujjayi breath and a drishti that is a focal point out in front of you, some place on the wall. So as you're trying to just concentrate on your breath and let your body do the balance for three, two, one, and done. All right, now the other side, kickstand left foot, hands to heart. Pick your position with your foot, that is. All right, and we're here now, growing our branches. Ujjayi breath. For three, two, one, and done. Awesome, oh, that feels good. Let's have a seat on the mat for happy baby. Rolling our back from side to side. Uh, entire spine, get that rolling, like you're imprinting your entire spine on the back of your back uh, on the mat, that is. So knees wide, you can uh, grab your toes, your inside soles of your feet, rolling from side to side, all right? Good, now bring knees together, arms out in a T-shape, and send your knees to the right for a, full, a body twist, a full body twist, all right? You keep your, whatever works good for you, but kind of relax your feet and your knees in a position that, that can work. And then look towards the left. And we'll just hold our body to us here for three breaths. And then bring your knees back up to center. And send them off to the left now. Knees to the left and look towards the right. Bring your knees back to center once more. Send your legs out into Shavasana. Corpse pose. And we'll just rest here and return to your normal breath. Shavasana, corpse pose. Again, just 
focus on your breath as it is natural breath. Break your, make your way back up to a seated position. Knees maybe up forward here. Rolling up high. Okay. Upward seated position. Student and teacher within me sees and appreciates the student and teacher within you. Namaste. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>